The prosecution star witness takes the stand as week four of the testimony kicks off in former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial. Let's bring in our chief legal correspondent, Katie Barlow. She's been all over this. She's been keeping an eye on Michael Cohen's testimony today. Katie, what is he saying so far? Well, here are three big takeaways from Trump fixer Michael Cohen's testimony so far today. One, he's testified about how closely he worked with Trump and that Trump signed off on pretty much everything he did, including the hush money payments to former Playboy model Karen McDougal and adult film star Stormy Daniels. Two, Cohen is corroborating the narrative that the reason for the Stormy Daniels payment was to avoid another negative story after that Access Hollywood tape dropped just weeks before the 2016 election. And third, he's confirming a lot of evidence prosecutors have introduced to connect Trump to the payments leading up to the election, from phone calls to bank accounts and text messages with representatives from the National Enquirer. Now, Cohen told the jury that what he did was at the direction of and for the benefit of Mr. Trump. But the big question is whether the jury believes him, given his history and willingness to lie. Trump's defense team is going to try to poke holes in his testimony once they get a chance to cross-examine him. Katie, did he testify about a, a recording he took of his conversation with the former president? Shamari, that's right. He recorded a conversation with Trump back in September 2016 about their efforts to catch and kill Karen McDougal's story. She says she had a year-long affair with Trump, and Trump can be heard saying, quote, so what do we got to pay for this, 150? The recording then abruptly cuts off. Cohen says it's because he got a phone call in the middle of that conversation, and that appears to be corroborated with the phone data today. But the defense tried to suggest it may have been doctored earlier in the trial. All right, Katie Barlow reporting live. Thank you.